Hi right, YouTube, what's going on? Juice Reviews coming back at you today with another review. Sorry if uh, my voice sounds a little messed up. Got a little scratchy throat going on. But uh, today we're going to be reviewing uh, the Rogue Mod here. Taking a look at this Rogue Mod I got. It's a clone, but it's a pretty mod. Um, overall, this thing hits. Look at how this thing hits. This thing hits hard. I think it's uh, got a 6 wrap 22 gauge around a 3 millimeter. It's good. It's good. But we're going to dive down, take a look at it, show you what it comes in, um, everything that comes with it, and then we're going to come back up, and then I'm going to give my uh, like overall thoughts and everything. So let's go down now. Alright you guys, so here we are down with the Rogue, here's the box it comes in, Rogue USA, J Mark Designs, uh, it says Rogue Mod, made in China, made in America, but obviously not, it's a clone, uh, and you open it up, and it comes in this little felty pouch thingy here, let's get that out of the way. Here's the mod. This is a rogue engraved mod. Got it in brass. Thing is nice. It's got uh, vent holes up here. If you can see those. But overall, man, this thing is a really nice mod. It's engraved. You can hear it. This is really deep engraved, the rogue part. Uh, it's a hybrid mod. You can see in there, it's hybrid. Uh, top cap, it came with a little bit, I mean it's a clone, but it came with like a little thing here. Try to polish it off, wouldn't come off. Threads here, they're, they're decent, they're kind of dirty. I try to clean them up, put some polish in there. <clears throat> Sorry. And uh, it wouldn't, wouldn't come out, so I'm not exactly sure what that is. Uh, here's the button here. Rogue G Mark Designs. Obviously, serial number doesn't matter. I just use a uh, finger here just to take it out. It's a really nice button, nice threads. It's really nice. But uh, here's the button here, the copper contact. It's a nice button. It's got two magnets in there, away from each other. Nice button. This thing hits hard too. Uh, I'll do a comparison. Here's a simple, simple mod uh, button I got here. Look at the difference. Look how beefy this thing is. And this one you can hear it. It's kind of crunchy like this one's smooth. It's really nice. But yeah, um, inside you can see right there. It's got a little something. Uh, Threads wise, they're nice threads. They did good on it. I did notice, uh, it's really hard to see, but see right there. Got a little something, a little ding ding, but you know, if you're not OCD, it won't bother you. But yeah, overall, it's a really nice mod. The thing's nice. I like the brass look on it. But uh, let's go back up top, talk about it, give you my thoughts. Where I got it, price on everything, and yeah. Alright you guys, so that was the Rogue mod, close up. Um, overall thoughts on it, I think it's a really good mod, I really like this thing, this thing hits nice. If you like mech mods, and or you're trying to get into mech mods, this would be a... Um, a really nice mod but I do have to say I forgot to say down the close-up <coughs> is um you need to learn you no know, battery safety you need to know what a hybrid mod is how to use it about the whole protruding 510 if you don't I'll just show you real quick just to give you a reference see that see how that pen right there pokes out more that's a protruding 510 and that connects to the top of your battery and that's what 
gives you vapor. But if you have one that's not a protruding 510, things can go really wrong and it can blow up. But with that being said, um, I got this at uh, 3fvape.com. I think I got it for, I think it was $26, 26 bucks. It took about four, 13 days, something 14 days to get here. But I'm really pleased with it. I'll leave a link in the description where to get the mod at. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later.